Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna be trying out the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Palette. I'm really excited. So Hourglass just released their new limited edition sculpture holiday collection. So I'm really excited to try this out because every time they come out with these palettes every year during the holidays, it's limited edition. It's their best selling palette because it's just such a good deal during the holidays. If you don't know about Hourglass, it's a high end cruelty free brand and I I just really really love their products but they're very pricey I did just review their new mascara which I really really like so if you guys want to see that review I will link it up here just one one of their bronzers is like $50 their blushes are like $40 so I really love when they come out with these palettes because you get a blush highlighter bronzer and you can use this to travel and I just love taking these when I'm traveling it's just such a good deal so I'm gonna get into all the details in this video I'm gonna try out the powders here on camera for you guys I'm also gonna just wear them throughout the day today and come back at the end of the day to show you guys how the powders hold up on the face I'm excited that this year they released a mini size but they did also release a regular six pan sized palette too so they did release two and I got the mini one because I really just wanted to try out the mini and it's a lot more affordable than the six pan one so this one is the ambient lighting edit mini sculpture unlocked and it is $58 you get four powders in here it has a mirror each of the powders are 1.4 grams I did the math and even their travel size blushes and bronzers they're 1.3 grams and they're $24 each so if you multiply that by four it equals to 96 you are definitely saving a lot of money if you buy the four pan mini size basically like you're getting a value of $96 and it's $58 so you definitely save a lot of money by buying the palette and so you actually get more product in these because these are 1.4 grams so first of all um, the packaging is always really really nice with these palettes it is plastic it's really really nice and luxurious looking it does get kind of dirty it does get fingerprints on it so that's the only thing but it's really really easy to clean the top left powder which is the lightest one is the finishing powder in the color soft light and then you get a bronze which is in the shade golden bronze light and then you get a blush which is in the color mood flush and then you get a metallic strobe powder which is in champagne strobe light I do have two other palettes from past years of the ambient lighting palettes um, that come like in the six pan which I really did like these a lot my favorite one is I think it was last year I love this palette I use it so much it's all dirty now because I've been having it for a while um, and it is whenever they came out with the bunny but another great thing about this palette is that it is vegan it's cruelty free and of course it's free from a lot of ingredients which I will list right here on the screen for you guys but also 5% of the profits will go to support the non-human rights project which is really really good I did finish off my makeup already but I did not apply bronzer highlight or blush so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now with the palette another great thing about these palettes is that it does come with a little card that tells you how to use each of the powders so they are numbered one two three and four okay so it says to use the finishing powder which is this one up here and you just apply this all over the face. These powders are so fine and they're so buttery soft that when you're applying them, it does not feel like you're applying any heavy makeup on your face they're super lightweight so I applied it on this side already and as you guys can see it did take some of the shine away compared to this side but you still get a glow so it looks very very natural like it doesn't make your skin look dry it doesn't make your skin look powdery you can also apply under the eyes all right that looks really good so now it says to bronze contour along the temples hollows of the cheeks and jawline with golden bronze light so i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so i'm just gonna use the bronzer now You guys see that like right away I can see the bronzer so when you swatch this it's not gonna look 
very pigmented but when you apply it on the skin it really does show up on the skin and you can see the color it's more of a cool tone bronzer it's not too warm um, or orangey which is really really good and it has a little bit of a sheen so it makes your skin look very very natural like it doesn't even look like bronzing powder it li literally looks like it's my skin and i just have like a tan okay and then it says on the temples You don't even have to take that much time to apply the bronzer because um, it just blends out so easy. It just makes it really easy to use. And it's not so pigmented where you apply it and then you're like, oh my God, I applied too much. And then you have to blend it out for like a long time. I'm also gonna just contour a little bit my nose. I don't know, you guys. I just, I love these powders so much. That is the bronzer. I'm just gonna go over the edges with the beauty sponge just to blend it out a little. So the next one is says to use the blush and apply to the apples of the cheeks and it looks matte. It doesn't look too shimmery which is really good. I like more of a matte blush and this one looks more matte. That is so pretty really 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 pretty it actually looks very similar to last year's blush color i think this is last year's ambient lighting palette the blush looks very very similar the bronzer and the highlighter i'm trying to look at the name to see if they're the same mood flush oh yeah it is in here so basically what they did was they took the unlocked palette which is this one that they released a couple years ago or last year and created a mini version of this palette right here this one's my favorite so i'm really happy that they created a mini size and brought it back because this one is definitely sold out because it's limited edition it's no longer available and these is all the powders that i actually need i did kind of go a little overboard with the blush I'm gonna go ahead and apply the highlighter now I know this highlighter I've used it before in the old one so I know I'm gonna like it um, and I'm using my highlighting brush I mean I mean I mean do I have to say anything do I even have to say anything look at this highlight you guys it is freaking stunning i love it i love it you literally just need to dip your brush in there like three times and apply just gives off like the perfect glow i like to highlight my cheeks now because they're a little fuller and down the nose and cupid's bow and i'm also going to grab just a little bit and apply right here really pretty i love love it i'm gonna apply a little bit more bronzer to the hollows the cheeks right here just because i like a really sculpted look and just clean this up a little bit so essentially what these powders are supposed to do is to give you that lip from within appearance to your skin. So it just makes it look very natural, very youthful. Even though I have textured skin, oily skin, large pores, I just feel like these powders just smooth everything out. And I'm going to go about my day today. We're supposed to go to Home Goods. So I'm really excited. Uh, we're going to be buying some fall decor stuff and maybe look at some of the Halloween decor. And it is currently 3.58 p.m. Um, so I will see you guys here in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm back and it is 11 p.m. So I have been wearing the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Palette for like seven hours. So I think that's a pretty good wear test. And also I can see that my makeup is starting to wear off. But I wanted to show you guys how everything looks at the end of the day. I think I only touched up or blotted like once. 
I'm just gonna blot a little bit right now. I can still see a little bit of the blush and I can still see the bronzer. I can still see a little bit of the highlight. Out of all of them, I feel like the bronzer lasted the longest, but it could be because I did apply more bronzer than anything else. I think it still looks good. I, I still think that the powders are pretty long wearing. What I love about these powders is that my skin doesn't look cakey and my skin just looks really really good with these powders and that's what i really really like if you have last year's palette though um that comes in the six pan and it has like the little bunny and it's called the lighting edit unlock palette then it is the exact same powders in this palette so if you already have this like you might not need to get the mini size it is i believe currently not available on sephora but i think it will become available on Sephora so if it is I will link it down below. I will also put the link for the Hourglass website where you can find this palette and I definitely think it's worth it and these powders are so good. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, they make your makeup just look really flawless and they give you that lip from within look. I am very happy with this so I definitely recommend it to you guys for the holidays. Um, it is limited edition so once it's gone, it's gone. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below have you tried the hourglass powders before what do you think about them we actually did a lot of things today we went to target we went to home goods we went out to dinner so yeah i have been outside i've been out and about and i think that my makeup still looks pretty good thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe I upload every week and i do cruelty free makeup reviews haul videos lifestyle videos subscribe for more and hit the bell to get notified when i upload a new video and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye